Hello everyone. My name is Asma Jana and I am an early stage researcher under Mary Curie Action's Innovative Training Network project named AWIR. And I'm currently doing my double PhD from University Polytechnica of Bucharest and University Mediterranean of Reggio Calabria, Italy. So today is our topic a robust technique to detect COVID-19 using chest X-ray images. Let's move first towards the outline. I will first start with the introduction, then about the data collection and methodology. Then I will talk about the results and discussion. Finally, move towards the conclusion. Let's start with the introduction part. As COVID-19, typically known as coronavirus, is an infectious disease that is caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. Detection of coronavirus depends on factors that is patient's signs and symptoms, location where the person lives, traveling history, and close contact with any COVID-19 patient. To test a COVID-19 patient, a healthcare provider uses a long swab to take a nasal sample, which goes in the laboratory for further testing. The diagnosis becomes even more critical when there is a lack of regions and testing, testing capacity uh, for tackling the virus and its severity. So there is a need of streaming diagnosis based on retrospective study of laboratory data in form of chest X-rays. So this is the related work previously done on medical images. Data mostly is used in form of chest X-ray images. Just the number of data or the images varies in each research. And they have used different machine learning or deep learning models. And the results also varies with respect to the accuracy and precision, as well as some application scenarios. So the main objective of this study is to detect COVID-19 using assembling medical images with the help of deep nets. Our study is divided into three sections. Section two addresses the data setup and collection from the participants. Section three illustrates the passive methodology we adopted. And section four shows the main results and discussion. And finally, section five addresses the conclusion and the future directions. Regarding the data collection, the first data set we used was provided in research study number 10. In this database, there are total 320 chest X-ray images, out of which 259 images are of different um, respiratory tract diseases. And uh, so some of them were like Middle East respiratory syndrome, uh, severe acute syndrome, or acute respiratory distress syndrome. And the rest of 3,347 images we use from the study for, for the better deep learning classified training and performance. The methodology uh, of our study is based on few uh, main objectives. And uh, these main objectives were, do patient is infected with the COVID-19 or not? And the second objective was, is the patient infected with COVID-19 going to survive or not? Third one is, according to data, what is the most common age ratio of COVID-19 positive patients? And finally, according to data, what is the ratio of the male and female infected with COVID-19? This is the passive flowchart of system. In training phase, uh, we use input images. We then pre-process the images in grayscale and resizing it. And then we train convolution neural network into two classes. The class one is the images with the COVID positive patients and the class two uh, defines other respiratory trait diseases. In testing phase, we again input uh, the images, pre-process it by converting into the grayscale and resizing it and train our convolution neural network system for classification purpose. So first the classification is then either the patient is COVID-19 or not. If it's, it, it's detected, then we will uh, it classify the survival ratio that uh, what are the chances that, it, uh, that the patient will survive or not? This is a, a basic convolution neural network architecture we adopted. And these are the results in discussion. Um, this figure three shows the detection of COVID-19 patient using features. Uh, the green um, color shows the right detection and the red color shows the false prediction. And these are feature analysis for the survival ratio. And this one is a confusion matrix of class five for survival analysis. 
And this figure shows the detection of COVID-19 patient using convolution neural network. Uh, you can see in the figure the accuracy we achieved was 91.67% for the detection of COVID-19. And this figure shows uh, detection of COVID-19 patient survival and shows 100% accuracy. Uh, we also uh, work on the demographics and the demographic results based on our data set shows that the age uh, of the COVID-19 positive patients were around like 60, 50, 60 and 70 mostly. And the histogram of sex shows uh, the males were infected more than females. So this is the conclusion of our research study. In this study, we used deep learning convolution neural network technique on chest X-ray images of patients and classified them in two classes of patients with and without COVID-19. The accuracy we obtained is 91.67%. After the positive diagnosis of COVID-19 patients, we aim to track the progression of disease, which may help healthcare professionals work on the correct dynamics and treatment of patients. This is also proposed classified to track the survival rate of COVID-19 patients, which also provide good result with 100% accuracy. This study also concluded that till now, this virus has affected more males than females of age around 50 to 60 years. This research also addressed the current problem faced by healthcare professionals in tackling the COVID-19 epidemic. Our future direction will be focused on applying this technique in real-time clinical data and improving the accuracy of our study. We authors are gratefully acknowledged funding from European Union's Horizon 2020 Research Innovative Program under Marie Curie Grant Agreement uh, under AVIR project. And these are some references that uh, we cited in our research study. Thank you so much. <laughs>